Hi, this is Tammy with A Second Time's a Charm. Welcome to the video. This video is in participation of the Try It Tuesday Challenge hosted by Unicorn Dust Designs. The playlist link as well as her channel link will be in the description. I'm actually really excited about this video and the reason for that is I'm launching a new series on my channel called Good Vibes and DIYs. Now I'll get into that in a second. But first, I just want to mention that this challenge specifically doing a video inspired by another YouTuber, usually a, a DIY inspired by another YouTuber. Now I will be doing a DIY in this video, that is true, but that's not the part that's inspired by another person. The good vibes part is the part that is inspired by a fellow YouTuber, and that YouTuber is John Krasinski. Now, if you know who John Krasinski is, uh, you know, he's an actor and director. He's Jim. I mean, he's Jim. You might not know that he started a YouTube channel in 2020. What is that channel? Well, he started a channel called SGN, which stands for Some Good News. And that's what John delivered. And it was a huge success. And it was in a time when we definitely needed some good news. He told stories, real true life stories that were happening around the world that were inspiring, that were good hearted, that, you know, gave people hope. And is he the first person to have this idea? Absolutely not. There are some websites that that's all they do is just deliver good news. <laughs> but you know what? There's not enough of them. And that's why I'm doing this series. There's just not enough good news in the world. It's just so overcrowded by all the bad. And while a lot of the bad news is important, it is things we need to know about, sometimes you need a break. Sometimes you need to hear about the good stuff. And I think, you know, everybody needs that. And quite frankly, I need that, okay? I mean, <laughs> I do, I need it. <laughs> so that's, that's what this is. I'm gonna do a DIY and I'm gonna tell you some stories, some true life good news stories while I'm doing the DIY. You're gonna learn a new DIY, you're gonna get a case of the feel goods, everybody wins. So tell me what you think in the comments. If you know of a story you think I should talk about on the next episode, send me some info about it and I'll give you a shout out if that's the story I do. Cause I'll probably be doing multiple stories in, in each episode of the series. And let me know what you think of the series itself. If, if I can just make a few people feel a little better for a little while, I mean, it's worth it, right? It just, it has to be. So, that's what I'm going to do. So if you need a break from feeling like, I don't know, you are existing in this tired, lonely, ferocious hellscape, and you just feel like nothing is ever gonna melt your cold, dead heart, well then stay tuned. All right, well, let's get started. Uh, well, actually, before I get into that, uh, the stories. I'm just going to say that I didn't show it, but basically this uh, was new in the box. I got it from Goodwill. There's, It was a set of two. I might do something similar with the second one, but I haven't decided yet. But this one I spray painted white and did a top coat uh, of a matte sheen on top of it to protect it. And uh, I may, uh, throughout the video, I do change my mind sometimes when I'm doing macrame because I don't really have a set design in mind and uh, at one point I removed some of the ropes because I had too many for the design I ended up doing but it's for the most part not too hard to follow along. I'll have the knots listed in the description in the order I do them as well as on the screen. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to let me know in the comments but let's go ahead and get started. All right, this first story happened on June 18th, 2021 in Allentown, Pennsylvania. And I just wanna start off also by saying, if I pronounce any places wrong, any names wrong, I apologize. 
So this story is about Aisha Neves, and she adopted a tan pit bull Rottweiler mix when he was seven weeks old and named him Kovu. Now Kovu became her world. I mean, this dog was her best friend. He was her life. They did everything together. Now, unfortunately, at one point when Aisha was at work, uh, someone ran into her fence with a car and Kovu got out and was lost. And Aisha looked everywhere for him and she was just devastated because she could not find him. I mean, I can't even imagine what that would feel like. It would just be so terrible. And uh, so yeah, she was just devastated and she, she never found him. And like months later, she, you know, finally like found out that he had ended up at the Humane Society that he had came in and he was in really rough shape because he was alone for a while and they had rehabilitated him, but they had adopted him to a new family already. So Aisha, again, was heartbroken <laughs> and that she couldn't get Kovu back. But, you know, she, of course, had to just, you know, move on with her life. And so fast forward to two years later, Aisha was, you know, she had two sons by this time. And she was, you know, thinking, you know what, I, I'm ready to open my heart again. I'm ready to let another dog into my life. And I want my, my sons to have a dog. And I think it's time. So she goes and looks at the Lahai City Humane Society website and is scrolling through the pictures and, you know, her, she just, she's, she's just shaken to her core because there's, Kovu is on the website and she knows it is Kovu because he had this very distinctive scar above his right eye. And this dog had that same scar and looked just like him. She was shaking. She was just so like, what? And so she calls up the Humane Society and says, you have my dog, you have Kovu. I can prove that that's my dog. And she goes down to the the Humane Society shelter and she is just, she's so nervous and she's, upset and she I mean she's not really upset she's just like you know excited and nervous and she's she's worried like what if he doesn't know her what if this dog doesn't even want to be with her anymore what if it doesn't remember her and but you know what this this wouldn't be a feel-good story if it didn't have a feel-good ending Sure enough, the second, the very second that dog saw her, it leapt into her arms and covered her in kisses and just was wiggly and squirrely and excited and freaking out. And they, it, it knew her. And she said to Ko Kovu, and this is a quote, yeah, buddy, you're going home. I'm so sorry this happened. Never again am I losing you. <laughs> Can you, I mean, I, I can't even imagine. I, I, I just, the, the sheer joy. <laughs> and I guess I, I have a dog, so I, that, that story kind of touches me. Especially, but... Let's go ahead and do our second story. <laughs> okay, so this one happened a little more recently. This is from August 19th, 2021. And this uh, is involving um, Poland's Maria. You know what? I'm not going to say her last name. I'll put it up on the screen. It's, I'll just call her Maria A or just Maria. Uh, she is a 25-year-old women's javelin throwing silver medal winner from the Tokyo Olympics. 
and she had just won and her win was a huge deal to her not only just because she won a silver medal for herself and her country but because she had tried to be in the olympics before and had bone cancer so she couldn't go and this time she was able to go because she is in fact a bone cancer survivor she had overcome and she won <laughs> but Maria had found out that a Polish boy an eight-month-old boy had a serious heart defect and was in hospice and needed to be sent to the US to have life-saving surgery at the Stanford University Me Medical Center but his family couldn't afford it so she decided that she was going to auction off her silver medal and pay for this child's operation I mean, come on, <laughs> just, just seriously. So she announced on Facebook that she's gonna do this auction to pay for this surgery. Now a Polish convenience store chain called Zabka found out about this selfless act and decided that they were going to bid on her silver medal. And they actually ended up being the winner of the auction. And when she closed the auction, she said, Maria did. The medal is this medal is a symbol of struggle, faith, and the pursuit of dreams despite many adversities. I hope that for you it will be a symbol of the life we fought for together. Now this might be a loose translation because this is from Polish. So Zabka responded to this on their Facebook by saying, again translated, we are moved by the beautiful and extremely noble gesture of our Olympian. We decided that the silver medal from Tokyo will remain with Ms. Maria and we will be making a donation in her name of $125,000 to this young Polish boy for his life-saving surgery. So yes <laughs> it, it's just it's just it doesn't get any better than that so anyway that's that's the two stories i don't have time for anymore uh again in the comments let me know what you think about the series what you think about the diy what you think about the stories if you're interested in seeing more subscribe to my channel i am a furniture and home decor artist so a lot of the time my uh my videos are me, you know, taking existing furniture and home decor and redoing it to sell. And if you want to see those videos, then again, subscribe. Go check it out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends. And yeah, that's it. I'm glad you joined me for this first episode of Good Vibes and DIYs and that's it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I hope this made you feel a little bit better. I think it helped me feel a little better. So <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye.